Well, yeah, of course I do. All right. Follow me. We'll talk on the way. Wait! Wait for me! So... You're a skeleton, right? Yep. And I'm guessing you know more about this place than I do, right? Guaranteed. Then what's going on? Be more specific. <gasps> Where are we? Why did I wake up with flowers? What were there about 50 rooms that looked the same? And what was the point of those rooms anyway? What were the white floating blobs that were everywhere? Why did the orange thing explode when I touched it? Why did the sign say to push when there's nothing to pull in the first place? What? what, what slow down there! You're going to give me a headache. Do you even have a brain? No, but with your blabbering, I might just grow one to have a headache. You can go brains? No, that was a lie. But you'll still give me a headache. Don't ask how. I don't feel like explaining that to you. Why not? I want to know. Because it's not important. Then what is important? Honestly, nothing here actually matters. You can at least eliminate the most pointless parts, though. I don't understand what you mean by that. Of course you don't. Hey... But, moving back to your questions from earlier, I'll tell you what I do now. Okay. The area you exited right before you met me is known as the Ruins. Right now, we're in Snowden Forest. That's what they're usually called, at least. Alright. Why did I wake up in flowers? That's... too complicated to explain right now. Why? Again, that's not important right now. There's a lot I need to explain before I can even begin to answer those questions. Why, though? Why can't you explain them now? Well, look at it this way. If you blindly jump into the middle of a story, you're going to have no idea what's happening. The characters, the plot, where the story is at, where the story is heading next, it's just overall confusing. This applies to what I'm trying to explain to you, so quiet yourself and let me speak. Okay, so as I was saying, you woke up in the ruins, and now you're in Snowden Forest. Mind telling me what you did after you woke up? Hmm... Well... I questioned if I was dead, and then I stood up to look around. Alright. So I went into a room... Uh-huh. And there was this weird floating orange thing. Oh. And I felt drawn to it, so I went over to it and crouched down... Okay. Then I poked it. Uh, and then I exploded. Okay, so I've got a few questions. One, what did this weird floating orange thing look like, specifically? Uh, orangey? Kind of like a star. It had four sides. Hmm. Was it kite shaped? What shade? Alright, never mind. I've got a better idea. Use this stick to draw what it looked like in the snow. Okay. Okay, Motive. You can do this. Probably. It looked like this. Hmm. Kind of looks like a save point. Uh, what? But you said it was orange, correct? Yeah. And... It exploded? Yes? What are you- Did you feel anything before or after it exploded? Hear anything? 
I think so. I kind of felt a weird rush of energy, if that makes sense. It gave me a push to keep moving forward, even though I didn't know what was going on. All I knew was that I had to keep moving forward. And now I had the motivation to do so after poking that weird floaty thing. Oh, so that's why your name is Motive. <laughs> that's pretty stupid, honestly. Well, excuse you. Hey. Is your soul always that color? Wait, you're telling me that this glowing rock that's attached to me is my soul? Yes. Wait... I thought the rock was white. So? Oh, whatever! The soul was white the last time I checked. You didn't notice it turned orange at all? Not even once? No, I don't think about things like that. Alright, well I guess that explains a bit. What does it explain? Well, first off, you probably have a soul of motivation. I'm pretty positive you can thank that save point you found for that. That also means you're probably the frisk of this AU as well. I probably should have guessed that way earlier. You're so weird looking that I couldn't tell if you were a human or another monster. Wait, frisk of this AU? Monster? Was that an insult? Yep. Rude. Okay. But yeah, you're probably the Frisk of this AU. Uh, then why is my name not Frisk? Well, you don't look like a Frisk. I guess so. You look like a Henry. Why are you like this? I don't know. Why aren't you named Henry? I don't know. I just... Alright, moving on. Drop the stick. We're walking again. Fine. Uh, so where exactly are we going anyways? We've been walking straight for a long time. <laughs> yeah, this forest is pretty boring, huh? I didn't say it was boring. Not many ideas were put into it. Not even the sentry station is here. It's just a long, boring path littered with snow and trees until we reach the town. Sentry station? Wait... Town? Does that mean there's other people? Nope. What? There's no other people in that town. How? Reasons. So, are you basically telling me you're the only one down here? Nah. Then where is everyone else? Is there anybody else? Well, there is one other guy down here. I think the name was... Henry? Yeah, that sounds about right. Where are the... Are you serious? Oh uh, yeah, of course I am. <sighs> so does this mean we're the only people down here? Ding ding ding. Uh, why? Why what? Why are we the only ones down here? Because. Just tell me already, I know you know why. <laughs> You're already figuring me out, huh? Just tell me! Eh, <sighs> okay. I'll have to break this down to smaller pieces, though. Okay, just get on with it already. Alright, alright. So, remember how I said you were the frisk of this AU? Yeah? Well, I'm the sons of this AU. And what does this have to do with there only being two of us? Actually, what is an AU, anyways? Also, who's Frisk? Oh, boy. What? We've got a lot more to talk than I thought we did. Clearly. Alright, let's start with what an AU actually is. But what about my other question? 